Well, my name is Kev Von Hall. My artist's name is Von Hall. A little bit about myself. I grew up, I went to LSD Secondary School. I passed through Community College where I received my associates and my bachelor's degree in visual arts. From there, I went on to do some business courses because I always wanted to be a full package. And then I took my art into the market. Um, the goal was to take my talent and make money from it. You know, there are a lot of talented people, but not everyone know how to transition and make money from their craft. So my initiative is solely to show people one in Barbados that art is not just a hobby, that you can make a living from it. I want to destroy the notion of starving artists in Barbados and I want to help every upcoming and emerging artist as well as I can. The concept for Bajanopoly came about from tackling the theme of the project. They wanted us to be outside the box as much as possible for this one. They wanted something that was never really seen here in Barbados uh, before. So the idea that I went about while recording uh, or jotting down my drafts for this idea is that a game of Monopoly basically is rules on who have the power. So I wanted to turn that concept of Monopoly into something that we are living with every day so that it would really play on person's minds. Like uh, where the power is, why is this happening? What am I gonna do about it? How I feel about it? Just to expose and to make people emote when they see it. You know, that was the goal for this one. The process in doing this mural is quite like a one, two, three step like we would do. It first goes down to the drafting of the actual content which is done digitally. So you would get an idea of how it would look beforehand. Uh, step two, we would come on the mural site and we would draft the actual digital image onto the physical board itself. And uh, Step three, we would then go in and we would bring the team or the crew to actually paint the physical boards to bring that digital render into real life. I want to introduce to you my baby project. I love this so much. It's called Bajanopoly. It's a commentary here in the economic growth in Barbados. And yeah, I hope you like it. You can dislike it, you know, I'm open to either. I just want people to emote and feel something. Hi, my name is Sherry Amarini Nichols. Um, I'm one of the artists for the City Skits project, and this is the one in the whole town. It's called Upward and Onward We Shall Go and it's taken from a line in the national anthem. The concept really begins with two indigenous persons that these are the first people before any Africans really arrived in Barbados. And ironically enough, when I, was, when I was doing some research, around this area was the first settlement of indigenous persons. So I found it very fitting to have this mural situated right in the area where we had the first peoples. Um, the concept is a two bridge concept. The first bridge looks like a bearded fig tree but it's, it's, it's structured to lead you into a, a view where you see a colonial ship bringing cargo. As we come to the other side you have another bridge. This is, much, this is more of a modern bridge now. The architecture begins to get more up to date. And you also have another ship. It's not bringing human cargo. It's now taking, it's not dealing with commerce, like um, foods and stuff like that, etc. In the columns, you have various symbols, like the bitcoins and the graph, which speaks to the digital era we're already stepping into. The change and the transitions that happen, a lot happened in between them, but of course, I try to the most important thing and try to speak to a past and a present and an upward where Barbados is going right now. This took, well, factoring in the rains and this hot sun, I would say three weeks. But um, yeah, around estimated three weeks. Um, some of the challenges were the rain. It rained constantly. There were times when I would come, my team and I would come. We would set up and everything and then we have torrential pours and there were some days we weren't, we weren't able to work at all so we had to go back home. There were times we had some persons coming, you know, like I guess I, maybe locals 
They'd be passerbyers. It was like great job. And then there were some who actually threatened, threatened us and threatened to burn the mural down because we weren't depicting what they want to see. But you know, it's like, it made me understand there's a lot of, per, um, um, a lot of different perspective and a lack of knowledge when it comes to art. So those were the challenges we had. Other than that, I think we had a blast.